do tomorrow? Hmm? What's due tomorrow? My paper, what my dad does for a living, it's due tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Uh... I own a company that uh, owns a lot of other companies. What kind of companies? Retail, mostly. Clothes, shoes, pharmaceuticals, some high-tech stuff. Okay, but what do you actually do? I make money. That's difficult to explain to someone your age. Despite everything, I love you, Daddy. What the matter? Hey, Jimmy. You're on your way, Daddy. Good luck. For about five minutes. Seen much more of me anytime soon. I'm sure. That's my girl, man. That karma will come back to you. Baby. <laughs> Baby, what's the matter? My father's dead. I thought you were an orphan. Even orphans have fathers, somewhere. No, Ma, I don't care what your landlady said. What did the... Ma, what did the... Ma, what did the doctor say? Hey, any chance I could talk you out of a smoke? No chance in hell. Walk away. Look, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Mommy. I'm sorry. You're telling me that you're going back to a guy whose idea of romance is two for one night at the dog track? I'm right here, okay? And I treat you like a goddess. What do you mean, maybe that's my problem? Hey, I can be a bad boy, too, if that's what gets you off. Hold on, I'm getting another call! No, no, sweetheart, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm being a bad boy, okay? It was like the role play thing. Just hold on, I'm sorry, hold on. Make it quick, okay? What do you mean Rodriguez is gone? Do you mean gone, gone? Because if that's the kind of gone that you're talking about, I would appreciate it if you drove down here and shot me in the face. Because it would be very comforting for me to be dead right now. 
Hey, Mikey. Hey, Leo. Special delivery. Thanks. Look, Rodriguez is the biggest bail that I have ever laid out in my entire life-sucking, miserable career. And it... Hold on a second. You know what? It's only money. Son of a bitch, sweet. But did you have to jack him up on national TV? I was frustrated. Frustrated? You look like the poster boy for bipolar disorder. This guy rapes a 10-year-old and gets off? I got a 10-year-old. Yeah. I only wish you'd have killed him. That way, you would take the sting out of losing my best cop. I need your gun, etc. I will try to clean this up and get you back on the job ASAP. Sorry, Cap. Sam, your sister called. She wanted you to call right back. They expect him to do a lot of reading? Leo, the Undertaker thought it made him look more natural. I can't read when it's hot. But a pool out in Vegas, I don't know how they do it. We're talking Baghdad hot where you're going, old man. It's a dry heat. Will you please show some respect? I need quiet when I read. He should have plenty of that. <laughs> that was funny, kid. It wasn't supposed to be funny. What was your name again? Douglas. Listen to me, all of you. The man that lays here before us was a very different man in his final days. He changed a great deal for the good. Yeah, you can tell by the sellout crowd. <laughs> well, then you're just gonna have to take my word for it, Sam. Now, you will all get your money in due time, but meanwhile, we stand here quietly. Okay, okay. Pay respects to our father as a family. Understood? Yep. Yeah. Even think about it. Please, how much money for you to help me? Do you understand? I'm Lang Lace. See. Anything you want, anything in the world you want. If you help me. Can you buy me a place in heaven? Wait, wait, wait. Your father's will reads pretty standard. 
After a lot of legal mumbo jumbo, it all boils down to about three million dollars. A piece. Wow. What? Three million each. Oh my God! I'm free at last! Thank you, Lord Almighty! I'm free at last! Wow! Substantial estate. I thought he meant like a two-bedroom condo in Boca. I have family and money at the same time. What did the old man do? Did he, did he rob a bank or something? Well, it turns out his fifth wife was pretty well off. <laughs> was she sucking on a tailpipe when he proposed Leo, to her? Leo, please. She what? loved him very much till the day she died. I bet the old man's prints are all over that one. Oh, good lord, stop. Daddy left us his money. That's the bottom line. But there are some contingencies. Wait, wait contingencies? What, what, are you, what are you talking about? What is it, in pesos? Why don't I go get a cup of joe and you, kids? sort this out okay first of all daddy left me the executor of the estate that seems to make a lot of sense somebody we all trust yes because if you give the money to leo he'll piss it away look i know you think that you're this big mature man but i run a business okay stop it stop i'm a businessman there's more okay you will get the money if you work together in a family business for two years well, Douglas, right? Yeah. Nice knowing you, kid. Have a good luck. Sam. Oh, Sam. Nina. Sam. I love you very much, Sam. Nina, but this is not funny. Hey, let's open the deli. Uh. It was his dying wish to bring us back together as a family. His dying wish. Doesn't that mean anything to you, Sam? What are the three of us going to do together for two years without killing each you know other? what your problem is, Sam? Oh, I got plenty of ideas. You're hey. not a glass half hey. empty kind of guy. You're a shove the glass up your ass kind of guy. You figured that this wasn't working before you even walked in that door. This is what I love about family. We haven't seen each other in 10 years, and we can pick up and hate each other like it was yesterday. Sam, stop it. That reminds me. Just because Junior here is supposedly the old man's seed, that doesn't Excuse mean that me? he's earned a fair share. He never met the no, bastard. It's, he's daddy's son and your half-brother, and I have the documents to prove it. Okay, you all need this money desperately. You have alimony, you have college tuitions up the road, you are suspended without pay. And you, you're a bail bondsman, really? What? I provide a service to the community. Yeah, and hawk up to your eyeballs. And you, a thief. I am a good thief. Like... Brad Pitt in Ocean's Eleven. Maybe you've seen it. I'll be sure to rent the DVD. Thank you. Now, I'm not saying you don't have good reason for what's become of you, but this is a blessing. This is a second chance for us to become a family again. That was his dying wish, and you will honor it, even if it kills you. We interrupt this broadcast for a special report. Billionaire businessman Kyle Wills was kidnapped today while en route to his office. Eyewitness reports from shocked onlookers described a chaotic scene in which as many as five armed and masked men attacked... So what was it like growing up together, guys? Come on, I grew up in child facilities and foster homes. We still had a good time. You want to know what it's like? Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll give you a little taste. You ever, you ever play the game Got You Last? No. Oh, it's great, man. All right, what you do is... You hit each other back and forth. Boom, 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 boom. Until one guy gets the other guy really good. Bang! And then you run away and you say, got you last. And then the other guy chases after you and tries to get you back. And then it starts all over again. It's a good time. It's a lot of fun. Except for when you play it with Sam. Because you know what Sam would do? I would finally get him once. Real good. And I'd run off. But he wouldn't chase after me. And then I would live in fear for hours, sometimes even days, wondering when Big Bad Sam was gonna attack me. And you know, you know what your brother from another mother would do? He would set his alarm for 3 a.m. and walk into my room when I was still sleeping and slap the shit out of me. And I'd be laying there looking up at this monster and he'd lean down and he'd say, got you last. Now, that's the funnest game that we ever played. The rest, I keep between myself and my therapist. Grow up. 
Kiss my ass, Sam. Got your last. You all right? I'm gonna kill you! Identified this man, Edgar Rodriguez, as one of the Will's kidnappers. According to the FBI, Rodriguez is an escaped fugitive facing charges for grand theft and assault That's my with bail deadly weapon. The Will's family is offering a $5 million reward for any information directly resulting in the billionaire's safe return. Take it or I'll shove it down your throat. Okay. So, all of our communications with the FBI are done through a computer. It's very high tech. You wouldn't understand it. You're only good at destroying computer companies. You got no jack shit about how to use them. Yeah, talk with my family somehow. Will you please shut up? You think I'm some kind of ogre? You see the camera? What do you think I brought that for? I'm nuts. They see you, you see them, everybody cries, begs for mercy, etc., etc. Now, the feds are going to want to make sure that you're alive. So, I rig a live feed of a Dow Jones stock ticker to run across the bottom of the screen. That way you can read real-time stock quotes and see just how far your company's gone in the toilet because their faithful leader's about to die a horrible death unless they pay up. Hmm? It's cool, huh? Okay. Uh, Leo needs a favor. Yeah. See, I was thinking until we figure out what it is that we could do as a family business, you know? Um, I, I've got a little situation that I, I could use a little help with. How can I help, bro? Bro? What are you, 12 years old? I mean, next thing I know, you're gonna be asking me to high five. Leo, do you want help or not? Bakers can't be choosers. Right. Sorry. Um, turns out, since I won't be getting at the old man's cut, for two years. Um, I'm in a little bit of a financial bind. See, I, I posted this bond on this guy, Edgar Rodriguez, um, for $250,000, and he skipped on me. And if he doesn't show up for his trial next week, I'm on the hook for the $250,000. This, this is a nightmare. I know, tell me about it. But the good news is, it seems Rodriguez is involved with that Kyle Wills kidnapping that's all over the news, so we got that going for us. Eco Summit now. 16. Volume's light. 630 million shares. Susan. Jansen, I'm okay. Jansen. Jansen, I want... He knows we can trace it. We'll never get any more than that. You're the only one on this planet I would let compare me to him. I want you to know that. <laughs> What would you do? Slap me around like one of your perps? Huh? Now, wouldn't that bring down the wrath of God? <laughs> you should have been a nun. <laughs> yeah. Cheated on my husband, ruined my marriage, and excommunicated from the church. <laughs> I got two failed marriages, a, a kid who barely knows me. I'm damned to hell for sure. Chips off the old block, huh? That's bogus, though. Yeah, it's time you grew up and just stopped blaming him. Now it's up to us. I love my brothers. Unconditionally. Even you. Even the one I just met. Really? Mm. What's his name? Douglas. He seems very sweet. For a juvenile delinquent. Well, you're no prince either, and I still love you. That's kind of how family works. But you're actually gonna help me out? The FBI is gonna throw every agent they got at this thing. Wills is a huge contributor to the Republican Party. They're gonna find Rodriguez before we... No, but they're not gonna be looking for Rodriguez. Not just yet. Look, they, they know that this guy's not smart enough to pull off something this big. He's, he's nothing but a lieutenant with the cartels down in Mexico. So, interfere with an FBI investigation, Andy?